Good day everyone, Senior High School Student, Statistics and Probability, Week 4, Parameters and Statistics, Mean, Variance, and Standard Deviation. So for Lesson 2, Parameters and Statistics, at the end of the session, the learner should be able to distinguish between parameter and statistic, identify sampling distribution of statistics, sample means. So to begin, let's define the following words. So I have the words parameters and statistics. So for parameter, parameter is a measure that describes a population. Parameters are usually denoted by Greek letters like um, this given symbol. So we use the symbol to denote um, the mean of the population and use the symbol to denote the uh, standard deviation of the population. Then on the other hand, statistic is a measure that describes a sample. Statistic is usually denoted by Roman letters. So we use this given um, symbol for the sample mean and for this given symbol, we use this um, given symbol for um, the standard deviation of the sample. So parameters, these are some of the examples of parameters. I have population mean, population variance, and lastly you have uh, population standard deviation. So for population mean, the population mean is the mean of the entire population. It is computed using the given formula. So this is our uh, given formula for the population mean, wherein uh, this given symbol corresponds to the population mean, x for the given data, and capital N for the population size. So in this given formula, to solve for population mean, you need to get the summation of x or the given data divided by the population size, which is the capital letter N. So for our example, the numbers of teachers in six departments of the certain high school are 18, 16, 14, 15, 19, and 20. So find the population mean. So to solve for the population mean, we need to follow the following steps. So step one, add all the data. So consider um, the numbers 18, 16, 14, 15, 19, and 20. So you, you need to use the summation of x. So to combine the following terms, you add 18, 16, 14, 15, 19, and 20, and then you will arrive with 102. Then for number two, um, you need to divide by the number of departments. So for this given problem, the number of departments in um, this um, certain high school is six. So you need to divide um, the given summation of x by six. So I have 102 divided by six is equal to 17. So for our answer for this given problem, therefore the population mean is equal to 17. So next one, you have population variance and population standard deviation. So for population variance and standard deviation are widely used measures of dispersions of data in a research. The population variance is the sum of the squared deviation of each datum from the population mean divided by the population size. The population standard deviation is the square root of the population um, variance. So these are the formula for uh, the population variance and the formula for the population standard deviation. So we're in um, this given symbol is the population mean. Um, X is for the given data and capital N is for the population size. So for our example, the ages of nine English teachers in a certain public school are 30, 34, 32, 38, 28, 36, 40, 31, and 35. So compute for the following. So for letter A, you need to solve for the population variance. For letter B, solve for the population standard deviation. So to solve that, we need to follow the following steps or procedures. So for step 1, you need to compute for the population mean. For step 2, subtract the population mean from each of the data. Refer to the table's third column. Step 3, square all the deviation of the data from the population mean. Refer to table's fourth column. Next one for step number 4, find the sum of all the squared deviations. Refer to the last row of the table. Then for step 5, solve for the population variance. And step number 6, 
solve for the population standard deviation. So next one for our solution, so we need to construct a given table. So for this given table, I have teacher number one, number two, number three, up to teacher number nine. And these are uh, the following ages of the following teachers. So I have 30, 34, 32, 38, 28, 36, 40, 31, and 35. So for solution number one or step number one, you need to compute for the population mean. So to solve for the population mean, you need to use this given formula. So summation of x divided by n. So for this given table, the summation x corresponds to the ages of the following teachers n. N or the capital N corresponds to the number of teachers. So for this given problem, you need to add the second column and then you need to divide the result of that first uh, second column with the first column, especially um, the total number of teachers in this given problem. So as a result, you will have 304 divided by 9. So 304 divided by 9 is approximately 33.78. So next one for step number two, subtract the population mean from each of the data, refer to the table's third column. So in order to solve for the third column of this given table, um, you need to consider the values of or the ages of the following teachers and then you need to divide the following ages with the mean or the result of the mean. So for this part, you need to subtract 30 by the mean. So I have 33.78. So I will have negative 3.78. So next one, in 34 naman, so I have 34 minus the mean, then I will have 0 0.22. Next one, for the third data, I have 32 minus mean, it is equal to negative 1.78. For number four, I have 38, so 38 minus the mean is 4.22. For number five, I have 28 minus the given mean, so I will have negative 5.78. Then next date, I have 36. Then subtract by the given mean, I will have 2.22. Then for number 7, I have 40 minus the given mean. So I will have 6.22. Then 31 minus the mean is equal to um, negative 2.78. And lastly, um, 35 minus the mean is equal to 1.22. So we will just transfer uh, our answer for this given part to uh, the third column of this given table. Next one for step number three, you have to square all the deviations of data from the population mean. So refer to the table's fourth column. So in order for us to solve for the fourth column, we need to multiply our answers or response from the third column by itself. Like for example, for this given part, para masolve natin tong part na to, you need to multiply negative 3.78 by negative 3.78. So, I will have this given um, notation. So, open and close parenthesis, negative 3.78 squared is equal to 14.2884. 0 0.22 squared is equal to 0 0.0484. Um, open and close parenthesis, negative 1.78 squared is equal to 3.1684. 4.22 squared is equal to um, 17.8084. And then, open and close parenthesis, negative 5.78 squared is equal to 33.4084. Then, 2.22 squared is equal to 4.9284. Then, 6.22 squared is equal to 38.6884. And then, open and close parenthesis, negative 2.78 um, squared is equal to um, 7.7284. And then lastly, uh, 1.22 squared is equal to uh, 1.4884. So, for last part, we need to transfer our answer for this part to the fourth column. So, next one for um, step number 4. Find the sum of all squared deviations. Refer to the last row of the given table. So we will use this uh, fourth, row, uh, fourth column. So next one, uh, for this part, um, you need to combine all our data for this given column. 
So I will have a summation of 121.5556. So ayan na po yun. Next one, for step number 5, solve for the population variance. So to solve for the population variance, you need to consider this uh, given formula. So for the numerator, uh, this is our answer for the summation of our responses for the fourth column divided by the number of data or the number of teachers. So for this given problem, I have the summation of the fourth column as 121.5556 uh, over 9 teachers. So I will have the population variance as 13.506 and 2. Then for um, step number 6, you need to solve for the population standard deviation. So you have to consider this given formula. So I will have the square root of the given fraction 121.5556 over 9 is equal to 3.6751. And then lastly, uh, we have to interpret our answer. The population variance is equal to um, 13.5062 and the population standard deviation is approximately 3.6751. Next one, for the other term, we have the term statistics. So these are some of the examples of statistics. Number one, you have the sample mean. Number two, um, sample variance. Number three, um, sample standard deviation. So for sample mean, the, the sample mean is the average of all values randomly selected from the population. So we will use this given formula for the sample mean wherein this given symbol corresponds to the sample mean. X is the given data or values and N is for, or the smaller N is for the sample size. So example, the ages of nine teachers in a certain public school are 30, 34, 32, 38, 28, 36, 40, 31, and 35. So assume that the researcher randomly selected only 5 out of 9 teachers. So, compute for the sample mean. So, diba, based on our previous um, discussions, when we say um, sample, sample is just a partition of the population. So, for this given problem, we only need 5 out of 9 teachers in our study. So, for our solution, the same with our first problem, we need to construct a given table. So for this given part, for um, column number one, I have teacher number one up to teacher number nine. Then for the second column, I have the population age from 30, 34, 32, 38, 28, 36, 40, 31, and 35. Assuming that we will perform random um, sampling or random situations. So I will have 34, 38, 36, 31, and 35. So I need 5 out of 9 teachers in our given um, experiment in order for us to solve for the mean. So for our solution, so for number 1, you need to add the given data. So ano po yung add natin? So you need to add the given numbers under the sample age. So you need to solve for the summation of x. So you will have 34 plus 38 plus 36 plus 31 plus 35. And then you will have 174. Then for number 2, you need to divide the given sum by the value of n. So for this given part, the value of our sample is equal to 5, diba? So you will have 174 divided by 5. And as a result, you will have the given mean of 34.8. So therefore, the sample mean is equal to 34.8. So next one, you have the sample variance and sample standard deviation. So the sample variance is the sum of the square deviation of each data from the sample mean divided by n minus 1. The sample standard deviation is the square root of the sample variance. So sample variance and standard deviations formula. So these are the formula for the two given terms. So we're in x is the sample mean and then with var and then x is the given data smaller n or lowercase n is equal to the sample size of this given problem. 
So for our solution, we will try to continue to answer yung problem natin kanina. So for step number one, you need to solve for the sample mean. So we we'll, we already solved for the sample mean. We have 34.8. Then for step number two, you need to subtract yung values natin for the sample age with our sample mean. So for this part, you need to subtract 34 by 34.8 and you will arrive with negative 0 0.8. The same thing with 38. 36, 31, and 35. So you will subtract uh, this following data with um, 34.8. So I will have 38 minus the given mean. So I will have 3.2. 36 minus the mean is equal to 1.2. Then 31 minus the mean is equal to negative 3.8. Then 35 minus the given mean is equal to 0 0.2. So this will be our answer for the fourth column. For step number four, you need to um, square our answer for the first column. So for this part, you need to uh, multiply negative 0 0.8 by itself. So you will arrive with 0 0.64. 3.2 squared is equal to 10.24. 1.2 squared is equal to 1.44. Um, open and close parenthesis, negative 3.8 raised to 2 is equal to 14.44. And lastly, um, 0 0.2 squared is equal to 0 0.04. So this will be our answers for uh, fifth column. So next uh, one for step number four, we need to use this given formula na. Given formula na po. So we need to add yung um, given data natin, especially for the last column. So combine 0 0.64 by 10.24. 1.44, 14.44, and 0 0.04. And then you will arrive with 26.8. So I have the summation of the last column. Then for step number 5, uh, for step number 5, we will use the given formula for the sample variance. So for the sample variance for the numerator, we need to copy 26.8. So this is our summation of the last column. Minus 5, uh, um, over 5 since I have 5 teachers and then I need to subtract this given teachers by 1. So because of the given um, notation as n minus 1. So I will have 26.8 over 4. Then we will simplify this given part as 6.7. So for this given problem, the sample variance is equal to 6.7. Then for step number 6. So the given um, sample standard deviation is equal to, so consider this given formula, the square root of the given fraction, 26.8 divided by 5 minus 1 is equal to 2.5884. And then lastly, for our interpretation, the sample variance is equal to 6.7 and the sample standard deviation is approximately 2.5884. 884. So that's all for today, senior high school student. Thank you for watching and listening to our video lesson. I hope that you learned something today. Stay safe and God bless.